In 2021, the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance reached more than 2 million people with free educational materials, support groups, and tools to support them on their journey to wellness. Today, I want to tell you about one person's personal story of finding mental health wellness through DBSA. When Vanessa Harris found the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance, she told us her heart exploded with joy and relief. Vanessa, a Chicago resident, said that in 38 years of living with bipolar disorder, not once was she able to find a black therapist. That's why she was overjoyed when she found DBSA's support groups created for members of the black community who live with mood disorders. After attending several meetings, Vanessa said her support group feels like a second family. And she adds that, quote, I know that I have a group of people who have had experiences similar to mine that I can lean on, people who understand where I'm coming from and can help me get to where I want to be. For thousands of people around the United States, the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance is lighting the way for wellness through our unique approach, which centers on experiences of people living with mood disorders. We empower countless people each year to get where they want to be, a place of stability, community connection, and wellness. In 2021, more than 17,000 people downloaded the Wellness Wheel and the Wellness Tracker, the newest additions to DBSA's Wellness Toolbox. More than 3,600 parents and caregivers downloaded Mood Crew activities designed to help children understand and process their emotions. Emerging from the COVID-19 pandemic, our community is stronger and more connected than ever before. Our 111 chapters and 400 support groups help more than 320,000 people on their journey to mental health wellness in 2021. We transitioned our online community for parents and caregivers to a new platform to allow for more interaction and enhanced support for those caring for children who live with mood disorders. We also took action alongside a coalition of mental health advocates in response to the mounting mental health crisis in the United States. In Congress, working with other advocacy partners, we saw the introduction of three sets of bills critical to the expansion of peer support. They address Medicare reimbursement for peer support services, the expansion of veteran support services in the healthcare system, and funding for virtual peer support services as we transition from this public health emergency. DBSA is also working to address a wide range of other issues, including mental health parity, the implementation of the new 988 crisis line and expansion of crisis support services, and the continuation of mental telehealth services. We also amplified the voices of people living with mood disorders through peer councils and research stakeholder committees where thousands of researchers and policymakers learned from the peer perspective. We accomplished so much thanks to the support of so many. We are grateful to those of you who volunteered your time, your talents, and your resources. And now we're asking all of you to join the movement for mental health. Take action with us. By donating your time or your financial resources to DBSA, you light the way for wellness for people like Vanessa and all people living with depression or bipolar disorder by providing them with hope, help, support, and education. Hi, I'm Kent Doughton, Chair of the DBSA Board of Directors. DBSA has accomplished so much in the last year. I want to thank all of you for your support, since none of this great work would get done without the time you have put into this cause and the many contributions you have made. I'd like to take some time today to talk about the mounting youth mental health crisis in our country. Late last year, the U.S. Surgeon General issued a rare advisory warning that the nation's young people are facing devastating mental health effects as a result of the challenges experienced by their generation. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, in 2019, one in three high school students and half of female students reported persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness an overall increase of 40% from 10 years earlier. 
approximately one in six youth reported making a suicide plan in the past year, which is just shocking. In response to this national youth mental health emergency, DBSA is expanding resources and support for children, teens, and their parents. Earlier this year, in partnership with the American Legion Child Welfare Foundation, DBSA created and distributed an educational brochure and other resources, including mood crew tools, to 5,000 pediatricians. This campaign was twofold, to share the importance of performing mental health screenings in a primary care setting, and to educate and equip parents to help their child reach their full potential. And last month, DBSA launched support groups for teenagers experiencing mood disorders. This is the first time DBSA support groups have been available at a national level for teens age 14 to 17. This month, we're launching support groups for parents and caregivers. These support groups will work in tandem with the parent and caregiver network an online community forum for parents of children and teens diagnosed with depression and bipolar disorder. I am particularly passionate about supporting the mental health of children, teens, and their parents because I myself am a parent to two children living with bipolar disorder. My wife and I understand firsthand what it's like to love and care for children with a mood disorder. I can tell you personally that there is an alarming lack of education and support for young people and their parents. One of the first resources my wife and I turned to in the early days of our family struggles was, you guessed it, DBSA. I'm so incredibly proud of the work DBSA is doing and how the organization is rising to meet this moment. This important life-saving work only happens with your help. Your time spent volunteering and your financial support ensure that children living with depression or bipolar disorder and their parents can get the education and the help they need to thrive. To learn more and also donate, visit dbsaalliance.org, our website. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Pollack, CEO at the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. DBSA's mission is to provide hope, help, support, and education for people living with mood disorders. The role of the peer support specialist is critical to advancing DBSA's mission. And I'm really proud today to recognize some real superstars as it relates to the role of peer support specialists. With me today is Susan Noonan. Susan, we are proud to really honor you with DBSA's first Peer Support Specialist of the Year Award in recognition and honor of your work as a certified peer support specialist and a mental health and wellness coach. Susan, for all of you who may not be familiar, pursued her passion for healthcare and wellness by earning her Doctor of Medicine from Tufts University and she has a master's degree in public health from the Harvard University School of Public Health. Susan, you exemplify how someone who lives with a mood condition can thrive through your commitment, your passion, your knowledge, and your desire to share your lived experience with others. And you've been willing to share this knowledge as an author of two books for peers and caregivers. Your extensive volunteer and consulting experience includes work at the Maxwell V. Blum Cancer Resource Room at Massachusetts General Hospital and with McLean Hospital. Susan has also served on the, on the Massachusetts National Alliance of Mental Illness Board of Directors and their Governance and Nominating Committee. Recognizing the toll that COVID-19 had on the mental health of healthcare workers, Susan reached out to DBSA in 2020 with recommendations on creating a peer supporter training course for healthcare providers. And I'm excited to share that through our collaboration, the pilot DBSA peer supporter skill building and professional development course 
will be offered to the staff at McLean Hospital next month. This project would not have been a reality, Susan, without your persistence, your diligence, and your can-do attitude. So Susan, in honor of your contributions to enhance the quality of life for people living with major depression and bipolar conditions, please accept the DBSA 2022 Peer Support Specialist of the Year Award. Congratulations. Thank you kindly, Michael, and thank you, DBSA, for this most profound and meaningful honor. It has a special place in my heart. I've always admired the work of DBSA, have enjoyed the skills learned in my peer specialist training, and the privilege of working with DBS staff on a special project for healthcare workers at risk over this past two years. I hope to continue being able to reach out to those in need. Thank you. I have the honor of introducing you to Vale Smith. Vale, we are proud to honor you with DBSA's first veteran Peer Specialist of the Year Award. In recognition of your dedication to improving the lives of veterans living with mental health conditions. As a veteran, your presence creates a safe space for other veterans as you listen to them and you connect on a very tangible and practical level. You are a pillar within the Chicagoland veteran community. You provide hope and stability to many of our nation's heroes still searching to find their way. You've dedicated your life to a cause that's larger than yourself by serving as a compassionate guide and a mentor. You overcame obstacles and setbacks and you defied the odds, transitioning from being a man once plagued with homelessness. You used your background to make a difference as a volunteer on the board of the Lake County Coalition for the Homeless. You testified before the U.S. Congress as an example of someone who benefited from the power of peer support and you encouraged our elected representatives to enact laws to ensure that other veterans have a chance to benefit as well. Vale, your service as an instructor for the DBSA Veteran Peer Specialist course and as a mentor for peers enrolled in the Peer Specialist Apprentice Program ensures that your strong values and compassionate way of relating to others directly impacts future veteran peer specialists all around the country. Vale, in honor of your passion and your contributions to enhance the quality of life for veterans, please accept the DBSA 2022 Veteran Peer Specialist of the Year Award. Congratulations, Vale. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. I really appreciate those words. Uh, I'm so honored to uh, share this moment with Susan. Um, that's incredible what you do and all of you here at DBSA and the DBSA Summit. Um, I just wanna, when it comes to the award, I just wanna explain to everyone that what I think, we're, I think we're all miracles in life. And um, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, just being here at the summit, all of us um, that are recovering from some form of mental health issue or substance use or whatever it may be, it, it, it's just a testament to that we're not the labels that are placed upon us by society. We're more than depression. We're more than being bipolar. We're more than someone that's traumatized. We're, um, we're fathers. We're brothers. We're mothers. We're sisters. We're daughters. And we're friends. And um, that's really the sum of what we are. We're going through something, and DBSA, for me, has been a place that has helped me realize that I don't have to settle or I can achieve. It, it's so important in my life. I didn't know what I would do. And uh, I've kind of found my niche helping out as a peer specialist and helping people that I care about because I understand. And um, DBSA has been one of the foremost influences in my life to this point and will always be. And I'll always be a part of family. And um, um, I graciously accept this award and um, totally unexpected. And I really appreciate everything that DBSA does for me, as well as other people that participate in mostly the veterans for me. 
but I am, um, I want to help everyone, not just veterans. You know, um, I love my brothers and sisters, but I think we're all brothers and sisters in some way, form or fashion when it comes to life. And um, we're supposed to help family. Thank you. Kimberly Allen, we are very proud to honor you with DBSA's first Peer Advocate of the Year Award in recognition of your work campaigning for peer support, eliminating mental health stigma, and improving the quality of life for people with mental health conditions. Your dedication to supporting healthy communities was evident when you pursued your master's in human development and family studies from Amberton University, followed by numerous mental health certificates, including DBSA's Peer Support Specialist Course Certificate. As a global mental health advocate, you work tire tirelessly to bring the peer perspective to the forefront of public policy decision making. As the chair of DBSA's Texas Grassroots Organization, you had worked to ensure mental health reform was enacted across Texas. Your participation on peer advi advisory councils and your engagement in research ensure that the peer perspective remains a top consideration of scientific decision making. This led to your authorship of several papers published in well-respected peer-reviewed journals on topics that promote peer support and wellness for people living with mood disorders. Beyond your accomplishments here in the US, you've mentored peers around the world while serving as a council member for the Healthy Brains Global Initiative. Kimberly, your work will have an impact not just on the young peers serving with you, but on adolescents from around the world who will benefit from a better understanding about the needs and research priorities to address depression and anxiety in young people. Kimberly, thank you for all you've done to contribute to the well being of peers through your advocacy. Please accept the DBSA 2022 Peer Advocate of the Year Award. Congratulations. Michael, you know, first, thank you, and to DBSA National, you know, thank you so much. This award means so much to me. Uh, I can't explain it. Um, on my hand is a ring of my father. He was a, a Vietnam veteran, um, and we lost him to this illness. Um, when I say we, it's the collective we. And um, as he died, actually, uh, he asked me and said to say, hide from the stigma of this illness. And he said, do something about it. Well, when I woke up today, and I and I realized this, when I realized this award, first of all, I want to thank you, DBSA, for allowing me as a family member to keep my covenant to my dad, Dr. Tom S. Allen. You know, in his honor and in the honor of the people that are not here today, um, I, I remember, I remember. So thank you for allowing me the grace of that. Phyllis Foxworth, I want to tell you that the day that I met you, my life changed. And it has changed for the better since 2015 when I met Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance and Phyllis Foxworth in Washington, D.C., where I attended an advocacy workshop and I did not know what the word grassroots meant. So I moved forward from that. DDSA has brought the world to me. You know, because of my depression and anxiety and different things that I have as a bipolar individual, I've not seen the world. And do you know what? DDSA National bought the globe to me. You know, I dreamt of going to a school like Harvard. Uh, you know, I, I, I love the study of insurance and I found myself on a study with Harvard through insurance talking about issues that will impact me when I'm not here anymore. You know, so DBSA National, if you're an advocate and you're thinking about this, I want you to know that that is what can happen. I went from, you know, being a solitary person to the collective voice and made a change that will supersede me. You know, I'm 63 years old now, and I realize that when I'm not here anymore, guess what? This award will be here. And the honor in that and my passion for this and to the young advocates out there and to all advocates out there, do this. Make DBSA a part of your life. Uh, it has made the world a better place and it brought the globe and any dream I've ever had to me. So in memory of the people that aren't with us anymore and to you, the advocate of today, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part 
of your world through depression and bipolar support alliance my flagship my heartbeat advocacy organization thank you thank you kimberly bert patania is with us today as well bert we are proud to honor you with dbsa's peer support specialist student of the year award this is our first peer specialist student award and we're recognizing you as a student from our inaugural updated and enhanced course. Bert, you demonstrated your commitment to serving the community when you earned your master's in education administration from Northern Illinois University, as well as your addictions counseling certi certification from Wright College. Your commitment to helping others to thrive is demonstrated in the harm reduction and client directed approach you bring to social services and the work you do with high-risk youth and their families right here in the Chicago area. You also show your commitment to your work educating parents on how to manage the challenges of substance use and mental health disorders in children. The community thanks you for your volunteer work serving on various boards and committees focusing on substance abuse, violence prevention, and other challenges related to youth delinquency. Bert, we're grateful for your work serving veterans at the Heinz Veteran Health Center in Maywood, Illinois, and for participating in our first peer support specialist course. Your perspective has helped our instructors to remain closely connected to the student experience. You've influenced the curriculum as it's evolved and it's improved, and your insights will impact not only future students, but also course instructors for years to come. Bert, please accept the DBSA 2022 Peer Support Specialist Student of the Year Award, and congratulations. Thank you, Michael. And thank you, DBSA. Uh, and Kimberly, that was just an awesome story to just touch my heart about your father, uh, being a veteran myself. Um, DBSA is a really great partnership. I learned a tremendous amount. I'd like to give special thanks to Douglas Hulst. Uh, Douglas was an incredible teacher. And it was my first introduction to um, really talking about some of my experiences. Um, I had retired, so I'd retired from my other career and um, thought it was kind of done. And I always wanted to work with veterans and share some of my story and uh, never could or would uh, because of the kind of work that I did before in government and policy and different things I was doing. It's not something I could talk about. Um, so I didn't have a lot of practice with it. Um, going through the DBSA's training, uh, working with the VA, coming into this kind of different field of being a, a peer specialist uh, was very new for me. Um, and going back to the front line since when it comes to working directly with, um, with veterans with um, severe mental illness, um, it was difficult to talk about this as a combat veteran to talk about some of these things. And um, it's not something I would necessarily do, and, and it would, it's been very difficult. But the training I received from the DBSA, uh, the other veterans, uh, sharing some of my story, just enough to build that rapport and help veterans, uh, that's, connect with veterans, and be that bridge between the veteran population and the services that they need. Um, and to me, trying to, and this is one thing I learned from Douglas, is trying to be that person that you wanted, that you wish you had had you know, when you first came into services. Um, it is really about saving lives. It's really about making that connection, being that person that understands um, your own recovery, very important. And that's one thing we probably don't talk enough about is making sure you're healthy and a good example for the veterans that you meet and their families and getting them to the services and keeping them and giving them purpose, okay? Uh, and giving them a reason to continue, okay? And to see, uh, the beautiful things that life can bring. And having walked through darkness and understanding it, um, it, it presents a feeling of not being alone with the things that we carry um, and letting them know that there are good things coming and it can be done. And walking with them hand in hand, okay, them, their families, okay. And one thing to remember with all of this is that it's not just us. And what I mean by that is our families too. The important thing is for 
veterans and their families and other people who struggle with mental illness to let them know that there is more. There are people who care about them, who want good things for them, and that they can do it. Okay. And we are examples of that. So thank everyone that I'm here with that is being honored today. Thank you, DBSA, for showing me the skills and the hope that I needed to see within myself and that I can carry this forward. And thank you for the continued relationship. Thank you, Bert. You know, one of the greatest responsibilities that I have leading DBSA is the opportunity to recognize and thank our tremendous volunteers who give their heart and soul to advance the mission of this organization. I know I'm speaking for all of you watching today. Um, we're just so excited and appreciative of Bert and Kimberly and Val and Susan. So proud to recognize the four of you in our first um, 2022 DBSA Awards. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. You really have inspired me, and I think you, I say I can say you've inspired others. Thank you.